Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair Let's Pose, where I show you how I get my figures into the poses you see in the photos at the end of my reviews. If you haven't seen the photos in the review of this figure, make sure to stick around to the end of the video and click the link to head on over and watch that. But this week I'm going to be showing you how to pose the Mofex Batman Hush Harley Quinn. As always, let me know in the comments below what figures you'd like to see me pose next. But that's enough chitter chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get her into just like a generic fighting pose. I feel like of Harley because she's kind of goofy. She's going to be in kind of a one of those, you know, fists up front, like classic, like let me at them boxer poses. So we're going to get the arms up here. We're going to get the legs kind of spread out a little bit. Get her a nice base, one leg in front of the other. I uh, like how that's in front of her face, kind of blocks it. So let's. Let's finagle this a little bit. There we go. All right. So here we have it. She's got her fists up in front of her. She's got one leg out front and one planted in the back. You've got just a little bit of space, nothing too crazy. Both legs are kind of bent. The arms are bent in the left one as far as possible. The legs, again, just a little bit of bend, just enough to kind of plant her feet. And again, Left arm, you also have the hand curled in. Right arm is more of a 90 degree angle instead, so that way it's a little more out front. But that's just kind of a, 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 a punching, you know, not really punching, but a, a fighting stance for her. Now if you want to get like kind of sassy, like hand on her hip pose, we can kind of transition pretty easily from that. So you're going to twist the hips here so it's kind of up in one area and then make it so the torso is more straight. You're going to have one leg straight out, the other leg's going to be out to the side, and like that, boom. So you've got this arm bent at 90 degrees, you've got the hip torso twisted, you've got the left leg is straight, right leg is out further, and then you have the right arm straight down. And it just kind of gives you that kind of attitude, hand on the hip, you know, judging Batman or being sassy and saying something. Uh, another thing with Harley is she's very acrobatic. Uh, maybe not quite like Robin or Nightwing acrobatic, but in, in all the things I've ever seen her in, she's always jumping around hardcore parkour style. Uh, so let's get these open hands on here, and we'll have her doing maybe like some sort of like backflip or something, vaulting off of the uh, the Vasco Toys AC unit we got back here. So we're gonna bend one knee. We're going to straighten out the one arm, we're going to arch the back, get the other arm pushed back, and then we're going to have to use our handy dandy stand. Normally I prefer the metal stand, a little uh, like wires I use, but for this I'm just going to use the mask, the mask, the Mofex stand just to make it easier for everyone else. So we're going to get it so the arm is straight, we're going to try to get the fingertips on here, and... And unfortunately, she's so skinny that she doesn't want to stay in the little the little clip on the stand. So it is being a little bit difficult. But, oh, yeah. And if you move her at all, she's going to fall. So let's key, see if I can straighten this out a little bit better. And maybe get the hand to support her. There we go. And like that, now it looks like she's doing a backflip over it. So you've got the one arm straight out, one is straight down holding her up. The, if I can twist this around, I'll show you. And now it's going to fight me again. Come on. Maybe just a smidgen. There we go. So you've got the back arched, and the, right, the left leg is straight, right leg is bent all the way in, just to kind of give her... That look like she's like vaulting and pushing off of it. So you've got, yeah, that nice kind of arch from head to toe to give it that full kind of rotation look. Uh, an easy one to go from this, I don't know if it's something really common, but if you just want her sitting casually on your shelf, you can keep the legs roughly where they're at, maybe readjust the right one a little bit. You can put her hand on her knee and bend the left one a little bit and make it look like she's just kind of just chilling. Just sitting on the 
AC unit here, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, it does look a little weird because she's clearly not sitting on it, but it does look kind of like she's just, you know, hanging out. So you've got, again, the, the right leg is bent, the left leg is kind of just draped over it, the left arm is holding her up. But yeah, as you can see, if you turn it around, absolutely not sitting on it at all. Now you can get something that'll fit better and make it look like she's sitting on it, but for this scenario, this is what I had. Oh, and now I knocked her over. Uh, and it looks good. It just, one of those things if you're paying attention, you can clearly tell that she's not actually sitting on it. And again, you got the right arm 90 degrees and just kind of resting on that knee, kind of keeping it casual. You got the head tilted, so it's, her head's still like straight up looking at you, but it just kind of gives you some options. Uh, from here, I think we're going to break out the mallet. We're going to do some poses. I think we're going to do a couple more. We're going to have one where she's just got it kind of resting on her shoulder first. So let me get this on here. I will say I do try to keep the mallet in her right hand for one-handed poses just because I don't know about everyone else. But my left hand, for just, just this one, uh, the gripping left hand, does not stay on the peg very well. The rest of them, fine. But just the, the gripping one. So we're just going to... Try to get her legs in a casual stance. Get them so we she'll stand on her own. And bend that one a little bit. And we'll get this, we'll put this hand back on here. There we go. Maybe, like I said, it kind of fights a little bit with some of them. All right, move that out of the way. Now, this is the real tricky part, is getting her to stand on her own. Because with those tiny, tiny feet, it is a pain. We've got right leg straight down, just a little bit of a bend, just enough to put her on her toes for that left leg. We've got the right arm bent with the wrist kind of tilted so the mallet's draped over her shoulder, just kind of showing it has some weight, which isn't very hard because it does, it does have a little weight to it, so it does naturally want to bring the arm down. And again... Fighting with her to stand, it's just a real pain. But as you can see, yeah, it's just at that nice angle. You've got a little over 90 degrees there at the elbow, and then the tilt inward at the wrist. And if we want to go from there, let's put the angry Harley head on here. And we'll have her swinging it like she's smacking somebody in the face. Because I feel like that's, that's what everyone came here for, right? We want to see Harley doing some uh, action poses, not just chilling and hanging out. So we're going to try to get this other hand on here for the gripping. And it is a little bit difficult because she does have a, some rotation at the shoulders um, forward, but not a lot. So you can get both hands to hold it, but you kind of have to play with it to get them to both be straight. Especially because if you think about it, if you're like swinging a baseball bat or something like that, usually your arms are straight out when you're swinging. Or at least maybe one is. So you kind of have to finagle with her to get her in that position because it doesn't want to do it naturally. And come on. You also have to fight with the fact the hands want to pop off while you're trying to do it. So we're going to got our hands where we want them. We're going to twist her, her waist here just to kind of give her some motion. Get the legs spread out enough that she can have a nice like stance. Now we're facing forward, and ta-da. You see legs spread out to kind of give her some a good, good foundation. The waist is twisted to give her that torque like she's swinging. You've got a little bit of bend in one arm. The other one we tried to get as straight as possible, but again, very difficult to do with this pose. And then you just have to bring in someone to take one for the team. This week it's going to be the actual Moff X Batman. Sorry, John Favreau, you, uh, you're off this week. So, we, well, now he doesn't want to stand. So, let's get his feet planted here. I love Moffex, but man, do they make it a pain to get the figures to want to just stand sometimes. Now, do the same thing to her. There we go. Maybe not. Come on. All right. And like that, bam. Now, it looks like she's smacking him across the face. You can kind of twist it even, get a little bit better look. So you don't even have to have her, like, that close to him, but it gives the illusion. Uh, this next one, let's do her kind of leaping up in the air, about to swing the mallet down, like it's behind her head. Which, another one, like, you can hit this one a little better, 
but you have to fight with it a little bit just because her uh, the dangly bits on her head get in the way because the arms won't go back as far as you want, especially if you want her like looking where she's going to be aiming. Because let's face it, if you're hitting someone with a mallet, usually you're going to be looking at them. All right, so we've got one leg bent a little bit, about 90 degrees. We've got the other one bent a smidgen just to show a little bit of forward motion. And the back's arched. And then we have the arms straight up, mallet behind her. That one has a little bit of bend just, oh, just to kind of make it work because if you put them both straight, it would not uh, want to cooperate with the hands. And boom. So the uh, final one we're going to do is going to be her swinging the mallet forward. So she goes from the, the jumping in the air to just straight up, you know, swinging it down, smacking somebody. So this one, you're going to need her legs to be kind of planted. You can bend them a little bit to get a little, a little firmer stance. And she's, she's going to fight you, though. You kind of have to lean her a little bit forward and a little bit back to balance her out because the mallet is a little heavy. But if you can, like that, you can see you've got it straight forward. You've got the arms are bent a little bit. You can try to straighten them out, but again, it will, it will have some resistance because of the, the way her, her shoulders work. You've got one knee bent just to kind of give her a little bit more. You can kind of bring her forward a little bit if you want to kind of give her like she's really swinging downward. But that's going to be it for this week's Let's Pose. Uh, I am sorry. With this figure, it's a little hard to pose. So I, I tried. There's only so many things you can do with with this one. It's not that she doesn't pose well. It's just with her feet being so small, it kind of limits it. And same thing, like I said, she has the rotation at the shoulders, but it just isn't as as nice as some of the, the other figures. Um, and in the meantime, though, if there's any figures you want to see me go through and pose, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe helps us out here on the channel and gets you tons of toilet related content on your feed. We've got reviews on Mondays. We've got the Let's Poses on Tuesdays. The recap of our live stream on Wednesdays and our weekly podcast on Fridays. You can join us to be a part of the conversation on our live stream on twitch.tv forward slash modern toy fair Wednesday nights 10 p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time uh, where we go over our weekly purchases and you can follow us Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to see a better look at some of the photos I take. It's at modern toy fair and of course you can click the link here on your screen to go check out the review for this figure but hopefully we'll see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.